It is now time for the final judgment portion of the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. As Ripple has rejected reduced punishment by the SEC, there was a smaller penalty offered by the government, which was $2 billion, but Ripple declined it for $12 million. I am pointing out the need to have certain rules. Ah. Ripple is critical of the regulatory tactics used by the SEC. There is a possibility that the ruling in the litigation will have a significant impact on the price of XRP, in addition to the whole cryptocurrency market, which will reject the SEC's lesser penalty offer of $12 million. During the three and a half year legal battle, Ripple Labs submitted a notice of supplementary authority to the court on July 2, 2024. Ripple has made a significant change in strategy by contesting the regulatory approach used by the SEC. The company asserts that the SEC does not have clear laws and that it needs explicit legislative power over the court of judge and analyst of tours of the United States. Through the utilization of Binance's recent court victory, Ripple plans to oppose the SEC approach. Uh, the company contends that formal legislation is essential because the processes of the CC are inconsistent and lack clear restrictions. According to Ripple's argument in the notification, intangible digital assets do not correspond very well to the Howey test. The paradigm additionally, in response to Ripple's notice of the additional authority, the SEC is expected to refer to the conclusion of ASCC Terraform Labs. Ripple questioned the industry regulatory approach of the CC, stating that it generates uncertainty for investors. In that instance, uh, Judge Rikov held that by neglecting to register Terra and Luna as securities Terraform Labs, and its founder, Quan, had broken securities regulations. The verdict in this legal dispute is anticipated to have a significant impact on XRP's price, as well as the larger cryptocurrency market in XRP, really could be triggered by Ripple's victory, just as it did following its partial triumph last year. However, an SEC win might lead to a downturn in the Bitcoin market. The continuing litigation between the SEC and Ripple is having a significant effect on the Bitcoin market, the latest filing from Ripple, and the anticipated answer from the SEC will probably influence how digital assets are regulated in the future. The market will be impacted by the court's decision in the long run. Analysts believe that the highly awaited final decision may take place in July. Will the decision that we have all been waiting for eventually be made? Why is July such an important month? Because of its significance. Attorney Fred Raleigh, who is in favor of XRP, believes that Judge Torres will decide on remedies by the end of July, if not earlier than July 13. In addition, Ripple has stated that although a prejudgment settlement is unlikely, there may be some outstanding disputes that are still up for negotiation. Um, he also stated that these dates are significant historically uh, because of Judge Torres' a significant decision from the previous year, which classified XRP as a non-security and had a significant impact on the price of the cryptocurrency. Ripple believes that the fine should be limited to a maximum of $10 million, but the SEC has requested an enormous penalty of $2 billion. Within the context of the current legal fight between Ripple and its creditors, the significance of the 13th of July in historical context, the 13th of July, is a noteworthy day since it is the anniversary of the historically significant verdict that Judge Torres issued, uh, which said that XRP is not a security. As a direct consequence of this verdict, the price of XRP increased by a factor of two in only a few hours, highlighting the potential for significant market volatility depending on the outcome of the lawsuit. It is optimistic that Ripple and its investors will have a similar favorable conclusion as shown by the date that the RIS suite recommended for the final decision. The present state of the legal challenge is no longer the primary focus of the lawsuit to determine whether or not XRP is safeguard against discussing the monetary sanctions associated with the case. You're allegedly selling securities that were not registered. Ripple is being sued for damages up to billions of dollars. Ripple is required to pay the damages. Ripple, on the other hand, has responded by arguing that the claims for damages made by the SEC are unreasonable and need to be reduced to $10 million. The, the CC has just decreased its demand to $12 million, uh, indicating that Ripple would be in a better position to gain. On the other hand, Ripple did not accept this offer. Uh, during the damages dispute, which is an important stage of the action. Both parties present their recognized legal arguments about the severity of the financial penalties that will have an influence on the market for cryptocurrencies. Because Ripple declined the offer made by the SEC to reduce its penalty to $12 million, the situation with XRP is quite dangerous.
This lawsuit may have an, uh, an impact on Ripple and the XRP cryptocurrency, which has already suffered legal expenses that are more than $200 million and is now trading at 48 cents. If market sentiment is favorable, XRP may see more gains with a 14 rise in trading volume to $862 million. XRP has grown by 1.5 over the last week and by 0.8 in the last 24 hours. Trade volume has climbed to $862 million. The XRP and enthusiast and well-known lawyer named Fred Rispoli was questioned about when he expected the conclusion of the SEC's case against Ripple, which has a significant impact on the widely used cryptocurrency. Rispoli, for his part, uh, reacted with precision by offering not one, but two dates. A legal expert stated that he believes the verdict of the case, which has been pending for more than three years, will be announced on July 31st. However, RIS Bully believes that it would be more poetic if the case against Ripple brought by the CC is decided on July 13th. This is because Judge Torres' decision from the previous year, in which she ultimately declared XRP due to non-security, would be more poetic. By this date bears importance at that time. The price of Bitcoin was July 31, but it would be poetic if she performed on July 13th. It is important to keep in mind that the parties are still arguing the exact amount of damages. The most important problem is that Ripple had a setback when it was determined that sales of securities to XRP institutions were considered to be unregistered transactions. As a consequence of this error, Ripple is now compelled to pay these specific remedies, uh, the disgorgement sum. On the other hand, is what caused substantial litigation with the cryptocurrency company reaching a settlement agreement for a maximum of $10 million and the Securities and Exchange Commission asking billions of dollars. With the filing of a supplemental authority notice by Ripple Labs and its submission to judge analysis at Torres on July 2, 2024, a new chapter in the ongoing legal battle between Ripple Labs and the United States, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission has begun. This notice seeks to support Ripple's position against the SEC's demand for a final ruling. By using Binance's recent court ruling, Ripple argues that the Securities and Exchange Commission's regulatory techniques are flawed and inconsistent, especially when it comes to the use of court decisions to control the cryptocurrency business. What exactly is the triumph in the submission that it made? Ripple emphasized that digital currencies do not readily fit into the conventional security framework, which is also known as the Howey test. According to the seven page paper, the sector participants are kept in the dark as a result of the SEC's preference for enforcement methods over clear regulatory norms, which results in legal implications that are unexpected. The main method employed by Ripple is to pressure the SEC to reconsider how it would regulate the cryptocurrency sector. How is the SEC going to react in response to Ripple's assertions? The C intends to highlight its triumph in the Terraform Labs case where Judge Rakoff determined that business and its founder, Du Quan, had violated its securities laws by failing to register terrorists in Luna as securities. This decision might strengthen the SEC opposition to Ripple Judge Rakov also expressed doubts about the programmatic sales ruling of XRP warning the information that has denied is not intended to be trading advice. There's no responsibility for any investments as that are made based on the information that is provided on this page before making any decision about investments. We strongly advise conducting independent research and hail consulting with a knowledgeable professional 